Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sanjana. In today's video, I will be doing a walkthrough of the Odd Giraffe Planner for 2023. So let's get started. Okay, here we go. Shop for 2023 planners. Um, looks like there are a lot of cover designs and it is it looks nice uh but what i'm noticing is most of the designs are similar to the notebooks that they already have in case you have seen you haven't seen that go check it out uh, their notebook covers are like really pretty okay i'm gonna go to one of these and first look i love it i actually like it the the colors are really nice and you know just the neatness of hardbound planner i feel it looks it looks so nice then here's the planner spread this is the weekly spread and it is pretty clean and nice i love that it is plain and also it's in a horizontal layout that is really nice i feel like having these plain layouts will give you the freedom to do to use this planner however you want to you can either make lists so you can journal you can mind map stuff you can brainstorm doodle whatever you want to do i think i think this layout is is quite nice then oops i think i missed uh i think i missed an image okay Let, let's just go through this and then you have the monthly goal section gratefulness intention uh, most important goal top three goals important dates new things to try i like this kind of monthly dashboard i feel a lot of the planners are going towards having a lot of trackers and i don't like that at all i prefer to have these kind of uh, prompts which allows us to think a little bit more uh, in detail about our goals and how we want to how we want to spend our month so i i like this then sticker sheets you have three sticker sheets here functional uh, two of them are functional and and then the other one is decorative it is their signature like you know full colorful style so uh it looks nice and it might look a bit too much when you see it together here but when you start using it in the planners especially that uh you know since it has got plain spreads it'll look really nice then this is the monthly view uh the monthly view as well it's so minimal and nice um i really like it just one thing that i noticed is that it is a sunday start if that is something that bothers you just make sure to keep that in mind for me it does especially if i'm using my planner either for as my main planner my work planner wherein i use my monthly spread quite a bit or at least to refer to uh, some planners like my wellness i don't use it at all i think for those for that particular purpose uh, this is going to be really nice i mean i use the monthly spread but i don't use it for reference it's for logging so it doesn't really matter there then you have the habit tracker you have quite a few habits here one two three four five six seven eight nine you have a total of nine habits that you can track uh, i go on and off uh, with tracking my habits sometimes i like tracking sometimes it just messes up my head more so i just don't do it but i think it's a nice to have feature then this is okay those look like the digital images and this is the actual product and one thing that i'm noticing here is that it's got that cut out tabs honestly i'm not a huge fan of it inkbooker has the same thing and it bothers me so much because i feel like it takes away the space from your planning and also you can see here right the saturday and sunday are kind of off centered because um the the tabs are cut out from the side of the page so that that's something that bothers me uh, especially for the first few months i feel at least for four months it's a little bit of an irritation after that it kind of you know um we it, it's kind of fine i don't i don't really mind it but until then i feel like it bothers me but if that is something that do not bother you then definitely go for it i just feel like i don't know how many times i go back and forth between months to need tabs for it all i need tab for is the current month that i am in as well as the current most importantly the current weekly spread so i don't really know why why those are necessary let me know if you actually like them or if you have a purpose for those monthly tabs okay then you have your monthly reflection page as well this looks quite nice too how did the month go highlight of the month what worked what didn't work 
how can next be better and some notes this is so simple uh, i feel it's got all the essentials you know keyed in here and um if you're if you're a beginner i think this is really great uh, it's quite important to even though you don't set your goals i feel it's important to reflect on it it acts as an anchor to make sure you are on your path to achieve whatever you want to and and yeah i, th I think i think that's really nice then this is another page see this looks nice like without the tabs it looks fine i don't know why they um have these tabs okay so you have 60 pages for notes okay this this is nice um i like having notes pages in my planner uh so that this just in case there's anything that i want to make a note of or create a spread for but the planner layouts doesn't allow me to do it i think notes page is is necessary so yeah and this is the um uh, behind the planner okay awesome so we have gone through the images i i kind of like it but those you know the tabs are throwing me off a little bit i i still want to buy two or three more planners i still want to buy three planners actually uh, one is for my wellness, the other one is for a project that I'm working on, and one more is for journaling. So I was I was actually thinking this would be good for my wellness, but you know these tabs. Um, let's see, let's see, uh, because my wellness I don't really write a lot of stuff, so it might be fine, I guess. I'm gonna shortlist it for now. Uh, there is another planner that I'm looking at. Uh, which I absolutely fell in love with. Um, I'll do a walkthrough of that pretty soon. Um, yeah, let me know. I, I'd probably need your your guys' feedback to to see what what you would recommend or what you would choose if you were in my place. Okay, so the images look quite fine. Let's go through the product highlights. Uh, it is a personalized planner with your name on the cover. Okay, that's something that I missed. Oh yeah, here. That, that is really nice. I think it's a nice detail wherein you can get your name added on your planner. Okay. There was a time where I was very fascinated by personalizing um, my planners or my wallets and um, notebooks and all that. I think I think it's a really nice thing. Uh, then 12 months of dated yearly planner from Jan to December of 2023. 264 pages, yearly, monthly, and weekly planning, then monthly goals, reflections, habit trackers, color-coded month tabs. Uh, I think I went through all of these things, tons of pages for notes. And it is 100 GSM Silky Smooth Ivory Paper. 100 GSM is pretty good quality for like notebooks and planners. 120 is is like really good, you know, it's it just feels like luxurious. But 100 GSM is perfect as well. I think the 2022 Ink Pocket Planner is of 100 GSM. So if you're all right with that, I think you'll be good with uh, this one. Then it is A5. Okay, it is a smaller size planner. It is not the uh, the larger B5 ones that you usually get. Now the medium sized ones. So this is a smaller planner. I think it's great for work as well, actually, because it's it's just so simple and nice. Uh, you know, the, the hardbound makes it like really professional looking and you you can choose between so many designs we'll we'll go over that wherein it will be perfectly suitable for work and um all of the the monthly weekly pages are quite plain and simple and also the uh you have a lot of notes pages usually whenever i use a work planner i pair it up with a regular notebook so that i can make notes for my meetings um but since I think this planner has uh, notes pages already, I think it'll, it's going to be really good. It's perfect for work too. Um, okay, so the price is one six double nine. For I'm I'm just trying to compare it between the planners that are already available in the market. For this price, we're definitely getting a larger size, but I don't really know that. Uh, you know, sometimes they upload on their website sometimes they do not regarding the notes pages i don't really know if they have these many number of notes pages um in those planners which are larger in size and kind of around the uh, same price but i think this might be good for work uh, the way i use it will be really good for wellness too 
and and also for a project that i'm working on uh for which i'm looking for a planner i think it'll be great for that as well so this one's priced at one six double nine so there is an offer going on you can get any two planners or journals for two five double nine if you didn't know they have quite a few journals too like gratitude journals wellness journals productivity planners daily planners all of that so if you want to pair this up with let's say um a daily planner uh let's see how that looks um let's go to one of these and and if you want to like you can create your, your you know your own oops yeah you can create your own bundle wherein you can have the big picture and medium term planning on the uh the weekly planner and then get into more detail in the daily planner you can do that or you can like share it with a friend of yours wherein two people are deciding and getting two planners and you can share the amount or you can get it as a gift to someone else as well so yeah let's have a look at the cover designs there are like 84 84 cover designs uh they all look really great i think i'd seen the notebook in this particular design and i really liked it i love the colors i love i just love that retro um vintage vibe from that there are some floral ones one good thing about having these many choices is that i think uh everyone will find something that they really like you have like florals which are nice and feminine and then you have minimal and professional looking as well and then some more like these abstract ones so uh that's that's kind of nice these butterfly ones are pretty dope I don't know if I'm actually going to get this. I think I'm going to wait it out because um, there is another brand that I'm uh, uh, actually two brands. One is the Alicia Souza one and the other one is Aishar. I'm waiting for their um, two launches and then I'll decide whether I want to go ahead with this or not. Uh, like I said, for those two purposes that I mentioned, I feel it would be perfectly suitable for me. So let me know what you think about um, this particular launch did you like the planner what did you think about the price and would you be um making a purchase on this one so yeah let me know in the comments below or you can message me on instagram as well and yeah guys thank you so much for watching um i'm a little bit i was a little bit busy over the last week uh, wherein i had to head to town for some of my meetings uh but i'm back to work from home now and uh i will have a lot more time to film videos and i'm excited to share the ink packet haul with you guys probably tomorrow or day after it's coming pretty soon awesome guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye